I'm doing a different video this time around. Um, I've had a message from the Ford Mustang Mark E, and it is due an update. So we've had a message to say it needs updating. So I'll show you what we have today. Software update reminder an update is scheduled to install tomorrow at 1 a.m. Your vehicle will be available by 1.20. So if you click on that, let's see any day, but let's say none. For many updates, you will need to select update now in the settings. Yep. Let's continue. Yep. So we're going to update. While your vehicle updates, you're not able to use it. Yeah, definitely it's packed up. So, right. So, update now is what we're going for. Let's look at the details of the update. An update is ready to install to take 20 minutes. So, what are they giving us? To have DC charge fast using vehicle your battery will now start to warm up within 20 miles of the charging station yeah but we tend not to use the uh, maps on the vehicle we tend to use uh, apple carplay maps and all that so we don't know this allows the vehicle to accept the charge at a faster rate i've never had that problem before so really it doesn't really matter to me but one thing for sure the last update we received you know it wasn't great in terms of when i was driving the car I don't know if you can see the steering when i used to press limit it used to limit your speed as the area is so we never used to have a problem now if you press limit it limits the speed at what speed you were not the actual driving speeds of the area you are in so i don't know what they've done with their recent updates so let's have a look and see what this update will do so i'm going to press update and see if we're going to get anywhere near what we should get and what are the changes so far so yes they are catching on in terms of over the air updates but they are not as straightforward as you would like them to be. So we'll press update now, continue, and it will do its thing. We used to press limit here, and it will limit you. When, so it's a, if, it's a, if the road is 30, uh, 30 mile an hour, it will straight away go to 30 mile an hour. If the road is a 50, it will go straight to 50. Now when you press this button, it only records the speed you are at. So you have to manually increase the speed here using this um, knob. Cruise control, which is good. Again, it's a presser button. You press here, it goes on to cruise and it takes the speed you are in. But when it arrives at an area where it reduces the national speed limit to maybe let's say 70 to, to 50, it automatically comes down to 50. It automatically goes and it actually automatically goes on the line where the sign says speed limit that's where it starts and that's where it ends so it used to be good in that manner i'm talking too much right 45 seconds left so yeah it is um in terms of this area of workings the mark e was good until the last update so i'm hoping the new update will sort that that limiter issue out and although it's not saying it on the statement there I'm hoping it will you know one of those um, ad hoc changes that it will bring in but for now it does what it needs to do you know so now I know it doesn't work properly you know just press the button and the lane assist as well and I, I know a lot of people complain about lane assist that the vehicle is pulling you i've never had such problems with both cars you know the mac e and the the cupra bon uh, v1 i've never had any issues in terms of preparing update in terms of um you know the oh, what are i talking about 
I've already lost my thought. Um, problem. Oh yeah, the the lane assist. I've never had any problem with the lane assist on both cars. It, it does what it needs to do. And this one, there's a you know, you just press the button and it's off. And this one is the distance between your cruise control and the car in front of you. And it works perfectly well. And I use it a lot when I'm just trying to save the battery, really. And just relaxing electric cars they do give you a bit of patience you learn to be patient in in your way of driving and everything that you do so you tend to plan ahead as well so if you are one of those people that never used to plan an ev would definitely teach you to plan your journeys and do everything you know on plan and as well as you know charging speeds and charging times I don't really look at that a lot because the journeys that I make are always charge back, update, postponed. So I've always had this problem with the Mark E in terms of updating now and all that. I've asked it to do it and it doesn't do it. You know, then one morning you wake up and it's done an update and you think, you know, do it as I'm requesting it. Don't do it when you feel like it. You know, you want to do it. If you're doing it now, let's do it, you know. So that's when other, you know, other manufacturers need to catch up with um, what Tesla has done, really, where they do their updates and everything, you know, works fine and you can see everything on the, on the app. So, yeah, there's a lot of messing about with other EV companies. And I'll just have a look at the app now and see what the app says. I've just gone to the, it's there on the vehicle alert. So if I click on the vehicle, it's come up as a vehicle alert, but it shouldn't be. It should be on the home screen. Hello again. Yes, it's been uh, four days now since I've been trying to uh, update the Mustang mach -E, and it hasn't been updating. So I've, I've set it up as much as I can on how it needs to be done. And in the end, I've now been booked in at TC Harrison, Ford TC Harrison in Peterborough here um, for them to have a look at why it's not updating because I'm not too sure, you know, this is where some of the other manufacturers um, are, are ahead in terms of um, updating the cars and all that. So I will take it to uh, Ford and get it updated there and hopefully it will come up with the new software and all will be well so i'm afraid it didn't update anyway thank you and hope to see you again on the next video do subscribe to the channel and make sure that you follow i will do a full review without the vehicle and how we've got on and how it's getting on and all that malaki and all stuff so peace out thank you bye